Well, a day or two after the Republican convention, I had another nightmare, which might be worth a mention. It was John McCain again, and walking with a grin. And the woman on his left was this Sarah Palin. And McCain, he turned to me, and he grabbed me by the shirt. And he said, I don't want anyone to think that I'm a flirt, but really, Mr. Folk Singer, you don't have to be witty to see I got me here a VP who is pretty, pretty what, I said pretty conservative? No, he said, I never go all the way with these fundamentalists. We asked her if she believed the Iraq war was God's will, and she said yes, but she wasn't sure that it would end in Armageddon, and that was good enough for us. Well, pretty inexperienced, and John said, well, I never this woman ain't anything if she isn't clever. If I'm too old to start some other wars, just have no fears. This lady's run her National Guard for about a hundred years, and all the earmarks for her state should earn herself some credit. But she's against that stuff, I said. And he said, uh, yeah, I never said it. I said, maybe pretty scared of books, and he remarked, my man, she's not afraid of them at all. She knows just what to ban. I meant she's pretty cute and slim, and that she looks to me more fun to watch than have to think on the economy. And she's a mom and wife and shoots the animals on the range. And I said to this folk singer, she's sounding pretty strange, like, like the sex thing. I don't get it. And McCain said to me, just think of the evangelist with all the money on TV. Fornication's fun, he said, and after all, we're sinners. And with our Lord's forgiveness, we're all eventually winners. You know she's pretty sexy, he said. Anyone can see that. It's just educating people about it she opposes. Like educating people about evolution, I said. <laughs> I don't say that word anymore, he said. She's educating me about the facts of creation, and so I'm replacing my reason with faith. Wouldn't it be better if we tried to think this through? I said, and he said, this whole country's free, and in it, me and you are free to think or not to think, as long as we don't lie. And she was completely vetted by the good old FBI. And then I grabbed Chan by the shirt and shook him and said, Hey, if I were just a polar bear, whether straight or gay, I'd see this woman's not the one who ought to lead the world. She may be pretty dumb. But just then the flag unfurled and John saluted, singing in his growly kind of voice, oh, I got a pretty woman and this country should rejoice. And for a moment I thought I was going to start to weep. But then the nightmare ended and I drifted back to sleep.